Hello everybody, Bill Platt here. I just wanted to give you an idea of what you can do with the uh, artwork that we're making available in this package. And um, with this tutorial, I am using Paint.net. It's a free software. Uh, it's very similar, very, very similar to Photoshop, but it doesn't quite have as many features as Photoshop has, but still very good. And it allows us to do what it is we need to do. So I went ahead and opened up a few images. You can see them across the top. The images I have open in order to work with within this quick uh, demonstration. And so each of these are coming out when when they're shipped to us. Uh, when we got them from um, um, Nathan, they are coming, all of them are coming out in big sizes. So... Um, so on this case, what we're going to do here is what, which is the magic wand, and then we'll go ahead and select the magic wand, then we want to click, click what's the background here, and we're going to want to go ahead and cut that out. So, you should be working with copies of the original so that you don't run into, you don't want to save this as it is this way. Because it's uh, actually, um, and I'm going to select that area between the legs and cut it out too. But the point is here that uh, we do want to um, um, keep our original intact. But since I've got backup copies, I'm not worried about for this video. So this is a full size. And what we'll go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and come in here and do an image resize on it. And we'll select by percentage, and I'm going to cut down to 40% of its original size. And then it doesn't really, here's something that's unique about Paint.net. With Photoshop, if you reduce it by uh, 60%, it would show the box down to a smaller size. But it keeps it full size here, but it's actually made it smaller. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a select all. And then I'm going to do a copy. Uh, copy merged. And then when I go to this image here, this is where it's really different. And we have to do it a little bit differently. We have to do a paste into new layer. Instead of just straight paste. So now we've got our um, butterfly on top of the background pattern. And let me go ahead and move this around a little bit and show you that I can move it around and maybe we can find something that looks really cool. So let me go ahead and put the butterfly up here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab one of my flowers here. And we'll do the same thing with it. Let's knock it down to um, 40% as well. Let's see, by percentage, knock it down to 40% of its original size and click OK then use the magic wand and grab the background here and I need to get this area here too so we'll do a shift click there nope nope that's not the right way to do it uh, deselect uh, deselect is what I need to do so let me go ahead and take this and we'll go ahead and cut it and then we'll grab this here, and then we'll cut it. And we've actually got, and the rest of this is all the actual flower. So let me go ahead and grab the flower now. I want to do a select all. And the copy merged again. And go back to the image I was working with here. And I'll do a deselect on the uh, butterfly. And then I'll do the paste into new layer for the uh, flower and let's move the flower down here and now we've got the flower and we'll deselect that and then we can move the flower around and then uh, we'll want to do the deselect again this does work a little bit different than Photoshop so um, that's the uh, one thing we're going to run into. But here we've got our design set up. And I'm not a pro on paint.net yet, but I will be soon. 
but in the meantime, here's a flower and a butterfly on one of our backgrounds. So let me go ahead and close this down, and we'll uh, shoot this again. We got another background here, and let's grab this butterfly here, which I believe is a monarch. Now I went ahead and kept the one with the black in it, so it's more recognizable to those of us who uh, know what the things look like. And let me grab our wand here, and we'll cut out that background. And this one has border on it, so we'll need to do the size up. And then we'll move that image over, and there's my border. And what we're wanting to do is get rid of that border. So we'll go over here, and now we'll do the uh, select all again, or the magic wand. We're going to cut that border out of the image. So now when I zoom back out, out then we can see the butterfly here with no border around it so let's go over to here let me get back to uh, the butterfly and let me do the select all and we'll do a copy merged and we'll go back to this image here and we'll do a paste into new layer and then now we've got our butterfly here now, with this, we can actually do a rotate here, and there we go. So, we can rotate our butterfly to whatever angle we want, and then we can move him around the page, and maybe I set the butterfly up right here, where he's flying over the center of this design. And maybe in your mind's eye, this looks like a flower. It kind of does, but it's not really. So now we've got the butterfly flying over the center of the image. And then let's go ahead and grab us another. We'll deselect this one and get us ourselves another one here. And this is actually a moth. And let's do the uh, magic wand. We'll select the background. We'll cut the background out. And then we'll want to resize this image, and we'll make it uh, also 40% of its original size. And let's do a select all here, and a copy merged, and let's return back to this. And now we're going to paste into new layer, and that actually worked out a little bit smaller. It must have already been a smaller size. So let me undo this and undo that. Let's see, we want to get that out of there. That, there we go. So return back. This one must have been a smaller size to start with. So we'll do the deselect and we'll return back to the image size and we'll do by percentage. We'll get back up to. Uh, if we do 250, that will get us back up to where we started out. So let's see what that looks like. So let's do a select all and a copy merged. Then return to our original image here, our working image. Paste into new layer. And now it's the same size as the butterfly. So now we can put our butterfly or our moth here. And now we've got a new image again. We've got the background in it, and we've got moth and butterfly, and this gives people some real opportunity to really, uh, as, for us as artists, we can create something truly unique and interesting, and for the consumer, the people who buy our books, it's a really interesting photograph that they can design that has a more natural element with real life objects in it. So I hope this uh, video was helpful to you, um, help you better understand what is available and what you can do with the artwork in this package. So thank you very much. This is Bill Platt. Have a great day.